I do think it needs to be addressed by having more conversations about sexual harassment and sexual violence, whether that's um, you know through the university or in different professional departments, things like that, and have those conversations surrounding consent, what consent is, what it looks like, um, all of those things. Um, so that's how I think it should be addressed, but then also switching the narrative back towards the survivors of sexual violence rather than these men who feel like they've also been victimized when they haven't been um, by the Me Too movement and the I Believe You campaign. I experience this as a form of victim blaming where we're trying to shift the focus from the person who causes harm to the person who's experiencing harm. I think we're trying to renegotiate our relationships with one another. Uh, to do this we need to deconstruct everything we think we know and start over. We need to do this with compassion and a willingness to sit in discomfort of not knowing, to really talk and listen to each other. There's really no uh, appropriate, uh, uh, you know, sexual, um, you know, interaction um, that is uh, allowed when it comes to power differentials. So there's no excuse to say I'm just flirting. If you're a professor interacting with a student, if you're an employer interacting with an employee, a supervisor, supervisee, there's just no appropriate way to do that, uh, and that is not an excuse.